already calling for the Nemesis. They're not calling for the Nemesis, but the Nemesis are leading our division now. All right, let's see what travesty we're going to have. Oh, man, Zero's McBirthday. He's feeling it. You know what? I'm going to go ahead and bring in Lethal Feline for him. And Boxicus is down, but I, I'm going to let him sink, get out of it. And let's bring in Anoni to let Azur heal. Looks like they only got Southpaw on their side. Or we got Southpaw that's feeling good. I'm totally lost right now. But anyway, we've got J2 on the mound today. We're playing at Colonial Plaza. Let's see if we can score a win. We need something. We need something positive, I believe. We're very familiar with the Platypi. Looks like they got an injury at first base. Wugliam, she's down. They're Tugboat Thomas, toot toot. They got him batting sixth. Uh, Lopez is also down. Prove you right with that lineup selection. We'll see. All right, why so slow leading us off? Rufus Zumar. Well, he squeaks one over the corner. And that one's popped up so slow. Trots around first, but Linda Hand, who's on the bench. Here's Reaver Axis. He's batting 318 on the season. One home run and two RBIs. They've moved him up in the lineup to try to get some runs established. Ooh, he'll take one right down the pipe. Goes after a bad pitch there. Fouls it off to the right. He's in the hole 0-2. And he got it on the fork ball. I know he throws that stupid fork ball because I use it all the time online. And I went after it. SKS pops that one up to center field. A 1-2-3 inning for the Larry Ballers. So the managerial change so far not doing anything. Kitty Kaufman, Charlie Lopez, and Beefcake McStevens are up. That's a ground ball. Reaver Axis gets under it. Routine throw and catches Kitty Kaufman. She was booking it down the first. Here's Charlie Lopez. He's batting 190. He'll take that curveball in there. All two. J2 doesn't have a traditional fastball. Uh oh. Reaver misses the... Oh, my God! Why so slow? Misplays it. It gets loose in the outfield. That is going to be a double for Charlie Lopez, and that's got to look good on him as he was a little tense at that at bat. A uh, fielding error. Oh, my gosh. And that brings up Beefcake McStevens. J2. Oh, God. J2's all over the place. And that's a base hit. This might possibly score a run. The throw comes in, and so there's runners on the corners. Oh. And that brings up Willie Bacon. Can J2 pitch himself out of this one? No! The run will score as they cannot turn the double play. Reaver Axis didn't flip it quick enough. And that puts the platypi on top one nothing. And there was a still hit and run going on there, but that is the third out. So the platypi strike first. Let's see if the Larry Ballers can get out of this slump. Novaman steps up, 250 on the year. And Novaman's, oh, Kitty Kaufman! makes the snag and that brings up Captain Pete Captain Pete gets a lot of that one can it get over the small part of the wall it's off the wall Pete rounds first Pete heads in the second that is gonna be a stand-up double for Captain Pete and that brings up lethal feline who is inserted into the lineup today one home run three RBIs on the year as a pinch hitter Takes a high, ball one. And that's going to be a pop-up, the shallow left field. 
And that's two outs and a runner on second. Can Larry Ballers do anything with this? Here comes Anoni. Seen limited action this year as the backup role for the catcher. Take strike one. And that's not going to get past Kitty Kaufman. And that is going to retire the side. We go to the bottom of the first. Platypi still up. one nothing. Tugboat Thomas leads them off. Oh, that's a bad pitch. But luckily, he didn't catch it. Reaver dropping back. Even though the left fielder waved him off, Reaver makes the catch. Here's Harrow Wugliams. J2 is like, I'm trying to barely move it, and it's like very jerky. Oh, that's popped up. Why so slow is back there to play it, though? That brings up Linda Hand. Get it? Linda Hand. Oh. Well, I got this announcer's job because they couldn't find anybody else who was sober. Sorry, fans. And J2 strikes her out. That's a nice mojo boost for him. And that'll bring up Boxicus, J2, and Why So Slow. Now batting, number Boxicus is very tense, struggling a little bit on the season. Takes a high ball. That one's hit down the line, but it goes foul. Two and two's the count. And Boxicus gets underneath that one, pops it straight up. Tugboat Thomas makes the catch. We go to J2. Who has the Ned Flanders stance. Two swings and two misses. This oh, if that drops, that could be a base hit, but it looks like the center fielder's over there to make the play. Yeah, J2 misses everything. He's very low contact. Now batting, number 47, the left fielder. That's a grounder, but Kitty Kaufman's going to get to that, and that is three outs, and we go to the bottom of the third. Vladipi still holding on, and that brings up Rufus Zumar, the pitcher. Ground ball, Boxicus. Oh, got caught it on the bounce. That could have escaped into the outfield, but he held it beautifully. And that brings up Kaufman, the leadoff hitter for the Platypi. A2 putting that one in there, confusing her. Oh, we got her on the, the curveball. And strikes her out on three pitches. J2 starting to get in a little bit of a rhythm. We're out a little uneasy about that one. That one was way out of the strike zone, but J2 getting the call. And another strikeout, and the platypi go back to the dugout. Reaver Axis steps in, still batting over 300 on the season. He's 0 for 1 today. And that one gets down the line, but oh, Linda Hand snags it and steps on the bag. I'm just going to sigh. going to sigh, everybody. And that looks like a base hit into the right field. Gets between Hand and Kaufman. So Novamans gets on base with two outs still. That brings up Captain Pete, who had a nice hit earlier. No one! Oh my god, I hate power hitting.
Yeah, that was all my fault. Now number 27. Hey, I dropped it back down. It's 72 right now, Grimmeth. But the problem with power hitting on this game is if you let off the button. Oh, what a snag by SKS! He makes the throw, one out. Is if you let off the button too quickly, it goes ahead and swings. Ethel with the dive there. Oh, Boxicus with a, what a grab and a throw to get the second out of the side. My God, that brings up Muffet Studwick. He takes strike one. Oh my God, that pitch, that was nasty. SKS scoop throw and Lethal makes the catch and that ends the inning, we go to the fifth. That brings up Lethal Fion. I'll take ball one. She'll take ball one. Lethal crushes that one, but it goes foul, and that makes the count one and two. Full count the lethal. And he'll hit what would have been ball four, and it's an out. Now batting number 38, the catch. And Anoni will pop that up, and that will be the second out. I'm just not feeling the hitting right now. now batting, number 23, the third base. I'm swinging at that inside junk. And I don't know why. Big hit there, but it looks like it's going to fall into the glove of Kitty Kaufman, who retreats way back into the outfield to take care of it. Tugboat Thomas is upon us. He'll take strike one. He gets fooled on that one. Day two looking for another strikeout. Oh, nope. Ground ball. Lethal scoops it. Runs back. Lethal with the speed. One out. Harrow Wugliam steps up. Day two putting that one in there. High fastball. Oh, that's a bad curveball. Still pop that one up. Captain Pete retreats back, settles underneath it, and waits for the meteorite to crash land in his glove. Now Linda Hand steps in. She's played some defensive plays all day to keep the Larry Ballers at bay. And that one's going to escape in the outfield. That is a base hit for Hand. He'll stop it first, though. Why so slow throws it in. And that's a two-out single here in the bottom of the fifth. And that brings up the pitcher, Rufus Zumar. The pitcher. swing on that one. Fouling it off. 0 and one's the count. That's grounder SKS scoops. Oh, he bobbled it! Still makes the throw. He might have been thinking about tossing at the second. But after the bobble, he goes for the safe out at first. We go to the sixth. It's one nothing platypi. Now bad. Two. A2's locked in. Okay. He'll take ball one. J2 smokes down the line. What a dive by Beefcake. Can J2 outrun it? No. Now batting, number 47. Why so slow? Why would I sw My lord. Oh, that one looks like it's going to fall into the gap. A little base hit by Why so slow. And finally, the leadoff hitter for the ballers gets on base. Now batting, number 54, the short. Get in there. There we go. There we go. All right, so we got a runner in scoring position. And we pop it up because that's what I do best. 
So two outs, a runner on second. That brings up SKS. He's 0 for 2 on the day. He'll take the first pitch. Crushes that one. It's got a chance to bring in a run. The runner rounds third and is heading home. Can they tie the game up? They do. SKS drives in so slow from second, and the game is tied. The baller's feeling it now. Novamans comes up. A two out single drives in the run here in the top of the six. Uh oh, SKS gets thrown out, but they do tie the game up. Top of the lineup heading up for the Platypi, though. Let's see what J2 can do. He's locked in. Oh, big swing on the screwball there. The Duke of scoring with two outs. That's a ground ball. Boxicus grabs it, throws the first one out. <laughs> Thank you, World War II fan. I appreciate that. Uh-oh. Charlie Lopez is being this being changed out for Stu Burko? I know Stu can hit, but I didn't think they had put him in as this early. J2 got him on that. And got him on the fork ball. Strike out for John Jeremy. And that brings up Beefcake McStevens. Oh, he'll grind it right back. Grind it. Ground it right back to J2. That's a 1 2 3 inning. We go to the seventh. Novaman's Pete Lethal Feline. Now batting number 21, the right fielder. I don't know. Stu Burko. That is popped up the left field. Muffin Studwick underneath it. <clears throat> we go to Captain Pete. He's one for two today with a double. He'll take strike one. And Pete pops that one up. Five people going after it. Linda Hand out of position will make the play. That brings up Lethal Feline. And Lethal crushes that one in the right field. That is going to be a base hit. Two out single for Lethal Feline. That ball was smoking when it came off the bat. Number 38, the catcher. Pitch out. They thought Lethal was going. Oh, they thought he was going there too, and they're going to get him. Oh my god, we're so slow. Alright, J2 is about halfway, so we'll have to be careful with him. This inning. Uh oh, that one's popped up. Lethal Feline and SKS going back for it. Oh, Lethal makes the turnaround grab. I really thought the computer was going to screw me on that one. Yeah, I know. If only there was player development to where I could set practices to make our our speed go up or something. Man. Oh, and that's over top of no of Boxicus, and that is going to be a double. And that brings up Tugboat Thomas. With one out, a runner in scoring position for the Platypi. Bullpins are starting to run here. <clears throat> oh my god, J2, what are you doing? That's a bad pitch. Oh, but it's in a great position. Reaver plays it, two outs, but the runner advances the third. And Hera O'Wugliams, who is rattled, comes up the bat. A chance to put the Platypine the lead, but she's going to hopefully ground out the SKS, throws the lethal, and that ends the inning. We go to the eighth. And Noni, 0 for 2 today, struggling coming in. Two 
two and O's to count. Two and one with that. Oh, and that one's hit right back up the middle, and there's a base hit for Anoni. See, I just got to talk trash about him up here in the press box, and they come alive. And that brings up Boxicus. You know, again. Three and oh. And a four pitch walk. And that brings up J2. Oh man, do we sub J2? They're subbing Rufus. Yeah, his stamina is so low. I think this is the time we bring somebody in. Bring in Z. Let's see if he can get a hit. That's right back to the pitcher. That looks like it could be a double play. It is. The runner advances to third, but there's two outs, and that brings up why so slow. One for three today. A base hit here will give them the lead. And that is down the line. It's going to be a fair ball. There comes the leading run. The runner rounds first and hits the second. Why so slow comes through with a double with two outs here in the top of the eighth. Now batting. Reaver Axe is struggling today, 0 for 3. And that's a little bloop, and there's no way he's going to outrun that, and that will retire the side. The ballers go on top. Let's bring in Joe. Linda Hand steps in. She's locked in. That's grounder. Lethal Feline makes the play, scoops it, steps on first, one out. Now Gemma two. Yago. Oh, and they're bringing in Scooter Sandbrick, who's coming off an injury, it looks like. <laughs> Pulled him, but he caught a piece of it. Foxicus scoops, throws, gets Scooter, who has some speed. He's a little slowed from the injury. Here's Kitty Kaufman. She's 0 for 3 on the day. Pulled on that. Uh-oh, that's, that's a little... Ooh, Kitty. Oh, and she'll hit that. Pete coming up for it. And that retires the side and ends the inning. They're bringing in Chance Lauterbury to try to keep the Larry Ballers from getting some insurance runs. Here's SKS, one for three on the day. Oh, the grounder goes right back to Lauterbury, and he throws SKS out, one out here. Novamans comes up, one for three also. Novamans got a big piece of that, but just a little too much air underneath it. Muffin Studwick with the catch, and that brings up Captain Pete. He'll take one. Oh, that one way inside. Two and two's to count. Three and two's to count to Captain Pete. I shouldn't have swung at that one. Kitty Coffin makes the catch. We go to the bottom of the ninth. Du Burko, Beefcake McStevens, and Willie Bacon are up. And that's going to bring out Cayman. Let's see what he can do here. That's a ground ball. SKS scoops, throws one out here in the bottom of the ninth. Larry Baller's trying to hold on. Here's Beefcake McStevens. Oh my god, that saved a base hit there. It comes down to Willie Bacon. He is 0 for 3 on the day. 
And that's a ground ball. Lethal scoops it, and he, he route, she route runs. Willie Bacon and the Larry Ballers pull it off. Two to one. Cayman earning the close. J2 will get the win with seven innings pitched, four hits, four hits, only one earned run, four strikeouts. Joe come in with a nice setup, and Cayman comes in and gets his third save of the year. J2 was your player of the game, and why so slow? Also in the top three. Yeah, we've struggled a little bit tonight. So we have proved a five and two on the season. Let's see how the rest of the league follows in behind us. There's 20 games to simulate. So that was one of our four games in a row that are really tough. Oh my God, 14 to nine, the buzzards won. Oh, the swoops getting dominated by the choppers. Wow, eight nothing. How, how the mighty have fallen. The cockatoos are seven and oh. There's the wardens. Let's see if they could. Oh yeah. Wardens moving up the board. Overdogs, we have them up soon. We have the wide loads also. <laughs> the two last place teams in our division, and we lost to them. Look at that, the Wardens 13 to 5 over the Grimcats. with a big win. Here's the swoops. Let's see if they can bounce back over the blowfish. Yeah, they, they bounce back a little bit. It's still early in the season. 16 to 8? Uh-oh, can the sirloins top the cockatoos? The cockatoos have finally taken the first loss. There is no undefeated teams in the league anymore. And there are your standings. So it looks like right now in the league, your dominant two teams are in the central over in the American League, the Cockatoos and the Crocodons, who are seven and one. And then you have a slew of teams who are six and two and five and two. But look at some of these races. Look in the National League Northern. It's 5-3, 5-3, 5 5-3. The Chompers, Grapplers, and B-Wolves. Our division, everybody's five or four wins right down the row. Everybody's above 500 at the moment in our division, which makes it the only division with everybody that's 500 or above. So we're in the toughest division. Uh, you look at other divisions like the Southern Division, they have everybody that's sub 500, so. And it looks like the run difference is kind of evening out for most teams. Very interesting. And so we have the four and three wild pigs coming up who are speed demons. Nobody has a triple on our team. We're so slow. <laughs> now, let's check out the league. Nicholas Infante is now the number one hitter in all of the league, and his team has a losing record. Thanks for the bits, Joe. Appreciate that. 
World War II fan. I didn't see those earlier. Thank you for those five bits. And a 15 before that. Thank you. Nicholas has the highest on-base percentage and slugging percentage and on-base and slugging, which makes sense. Why so slow is tied for the lead in most stolen bases, which is hilarious because our team has no speed. Joe with two wins still, and then Cayman's up there with three saves. All right, Boxicus is feeling tense. 